I am so glad it's good news time. I need this good news today so badly. Yeah, it has been a long news week. It's been a lot. It's been a lot. Yep, yep. Today's a weird day, but we're 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 getting through it and we now have good news. This is listener submitted good news. If you have any good news you want to tell us about or confessions or corrections or you want to play What the Mutt where we guess your dog, uh dog's breeds, which I know we're terrible at. There was a big discussion oh about Oh my god, so bad. Pities and bullies and I you know, I know. I don't know. I know that I don't know. How about that? And uh, uh, we, you know, we just do our best. It's a fun game. And misheard lyrics, whatever you guys have for us, uh, pictures of your happy place, send them in at uh, dailybeanspod.com and click on contact. I will kick us off with a submission from M, pronouns they, them. My favorite misheard lyric is from Simon and Garfunkel's Sound of Silence. I hear them say, silence like a casserole, (laughs) when they (laughs) actually say, silence like a cancer grows casseroles are decidedly better than cancer so i'm with you on this i would say so most of them yes Uh, all of them attached is a pic of my dog cat when she was recovering from her broken leg and my cat lincoln i know you thought it was going to be dog but it's not it's lincoln who basically is feral but she tolerates the crazy anxiety ridden dog she is forced to live with it is one of the only pics i have of them together despite having had them for almost eight years (laughs) <laughs> my goodness look at the snaggle the snaggle tooth cat's got a furrowed eyebrow I and know. which is going to confuse the listeners because when i say cat i mean the dog yeah and that's a susan <laughs> collins brow for sure look at oh beautiful oh and that baby kitty what a floof chunk i want to pet the bellies oh thank you for that thanks for kicking us off now this one's from leslie i am a she slash her working in the construction field during the early years of the tv show cops my two oldest children had their own fun missing hearing of the theme song bad boys bad boys what you gonna do what you gonna do with the barbecue we still laugh we still laugh about it which you should i'm gonna grill in front of it shirtless that's what i'm gonna do with the barbecue oh my goodness uh pet tax my newest grandpa peanut breed my guess is as good as yours he's so sweet and has stolen our hearts my daughter is his third pet parent first was a bad home that he was rescued from but the second pet parent had to give him up because of health reasons we had pups at him my goodness goldberg okay we had pups at him a couple of times so taking him in was an easy choice good day to you all look at this baby Oh, also a furrowed brow. So sweet, though. I know. What a honey. Th- that second picture, he's saying things. He's got gentle, cute eyes. Uh, look at that baby. He's he's seen things. Uh, all right. Next up from pronouns she and her anonymous. My good news is that after four years of the former guy, my daughter and her family are finally moving and will be living with us for a year. She married a Swede and has been living in Stockholm for 13 years. My twin granddaughters are now six, uh, and we have been missing each other terribly. We missed the entire fifth year, but I'm excited to become a full-time Nana, and we'll be retiring from work with seniors at the local council on aging since I am now 65. It is, it's is—it's been intense since most of my day is helping them get scheduled for vaccinations. Oh, my Ooh, goodness, yeah. yeah. Good job. Um, a funny story. My daughter was saying she didn't like the immigration lawyer they were working with when one of the girls piped up with do you mean donald trump that's good parenting right there (laughs) (laughs) love the show and have been listening to dana on the stephanie miller show for many years so glad i now get to hear her many times a week along with the incomparable ag i may not be able to keep up with the podcast once the family arrives but i'll be trying love your show that's so fine spending time with family is a perfect perfectly good reason indeed indeed Okay, we got another one. This is anonymous pronoun she and her. Thank oh. you very much for your wonderful stop scrolling, AG. Sorry. Thank Sorry. you very much for your wonderful <laughs> podcast. I really appreciate the intelligent and passionate views on the news. I'm an American who has lived in the Netherlands for nearly 20 years. I wanted to send a story for Miss Her Lyrics. Before my son was born in 2003, I made a 14 volume CD set called Female Voices, and I played them in the car all the time. I still have dozens of music mixes on cassettes that friends made for me, very much an 80s kid. Oh my God, I'd love to get my hands on that. Mm -hmm. Um, When my son was around five years old, we were singing I Am Woman, very good song by Helen Reddy. And at the end of the song, he asked, why is she invisible, mom? (laughs) He heard invisible instead of invincible. I had to laugh. Then he was quiet and said, but why is she saying that she is one man? He heard one man instead of woman. Invisible one man. So... (laughs) <laughs> yep. So he was corrected, but it made me wonder what little boys and what 
excuse me, about little boys and the things they hear. I also wanted to share photos of our wonderful pets. Titi is our adopted dog. She's now 13 years old. There aren't many strays in the Netherlands, so there are organizations who bring strays, stray dogs um, from Southern Europe. Titi came to us from Spain. She's the sweetest animal and have, uh, that you've ever met. Not a mean bone in her body. We also have a brown calico, Marley, who's also 13 years old. And the newest four-legged member of our family is Bowie, 13-week-old Maine Coon. Marley and Titi aren't overly impressed with the active kitten, but they tolerate her. Thanks again for everything you do. Look at Titi, and then look at this baby Maine Coon. Oh, my goodness. <sighs> I love the floof coming out of the ears and on the tips of the ears, the ear floof. So, so sweet. I had a Maine Coon that looked like that. His name was The Face. Oh, my God. So sweet. Uh-huh. Oh, and look at this calico. Look at they're just like looking up with the eyes. Hello, kitty. So adorable. Thank you for sharing those. Uh, all right, next up from Seth, pronouns he and him. Hi, beans, queens. I have great news. I live in Georgia in a rural area. That means the vaccine rollout is super slow. I am a healthy mid-20-year-old, so I should have no reason to think I'll get the vaccine before May. This sucks because my boyfriend, who I live with, is immunocompromised. Well, guess what happened today? My work has allowed me to know my local clinic staff pretty well. Today, they had some extra vaccine that they had to put in an arm, and they thought of me. I still have to go back for my second dose, but I'm elated to not have to worry so much about killing my so very killing my SO every time I walk out the door. Whew, yeah. As Pod Pet Tax, I'm attaching pictures of Major. He's my pandemic puppers. Much love and thanks for making my days that much brighter. Look at this baby. Oh, so sweet. They're both adorable. All of them. Almost gritches. Oh. Oh. And the last one. Rest in the chin. Yes. Oh, sleepy, sleepy so time adorable. on the car. Oh, my goodness. Mm. All right. Here we go. This is from Old Fart Izzy. Pronoun she, her, they. Hey, Beans Queens. It's little old lady here, the one who's still in love and still in like with her hubby. I love that sentence. Drumroll, please. The best news ever. We made it through the website Spiderweb Nightmare, the long drives, the super, the serpentine parking lots, and we both are now fully vaccinated. Ooh. Yay! I'm especially happy since the version of MS that I have does not play well with COVID. So I've been intensely hiding for a year. Now I feel like I've been let out of jail. Yay! And I was rewarded this morning with an adult bald eagle playing in the river just 100 feet away from me. Tis indeed a good day. Thanks for making the inside part of this past year's journey so much better than tolerable. Listening to AG Dana and Amy just makes me giggle through the nonsense the world has wrought. Thanks for always leaving me with a smiling face and an optimistic feeling at the end of each podcast. You all rock my proverbial world. For my pod pet tax, my current pets are all wild ones as we are hosting an eagle conservation area in Arizona. Here's a couple of my favorite wild pets. Wild burrow babies. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Look who didn't scroll ahead of time. Oh, oh my god. Is it a donkey? It's, it's a furry donkey, so, right? It's a burrow. Yeah, look at this fuzzy. Oh my baby. goodness. <gasps> The markings on the second two, they look like drawings. Oh, my God. They're so cute. Like, they literally look like they've been drawn into this picture. I wonder if the babies are fluffy like that and then lose their fluff when they get older. Like, that's the baby coat. Oh, God. They're cute. Thank you for those. Thank Mm. you for those pictures. So cute. I forget. Is a burrow a combination of a donkey and a horse or is it the other way around? Uh, I think so. you, okay, wait. When you mean the other way around, do you mean the combination of a horse and a donkey? Because that would be the other way around. What do you mean? No, I mean is a horse and a burrow a donkey? Oh, got it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I know there's a horse and a burrow and a donkey in there. I just don't know what direction they a go. A horse and a burrow sounds like it would make a donkey. But I don't know. Here, I don't let's know. look it up. Okay, we have time. You guys aren't doing anything, right? What is a burrow? Mules aren't burrows. <laughs> Is a burrow and a donkey the same thing? A burrow is a Spanish word for donkey. Oh. A henny is the result of breeding between a female donkey and a male horse. Okay, okay. now it's just getting too complicated. <laughs> what have we done? Burrows are members of the horse family. Originally from Africa, they were introduced to the desert southwest by the Spaniards in the 1500s. The word burrow is derived the Spanish word for burrico, meaning donkey. Okay, so a burrow is a donkey. I don't know what I was talking about. There you go. Ignore me. I'd rather not. You always often say very good things. <laughs> yeah, except I told everyone to put a positive coefficient for reactivity in their reactors that they're building the other day. Hey, you know what happens. 
some people should not be building reactors. Yeah. And you know, if you are true. building a reactor, they knew you were wrong, so they wouldn't have followed your advice anyway. Right. Yeah. I, that's kind of what I'm hoping. Anyway, thank you so much, everyone, for these submissions. Uh, this made my day, really, honestly. And I send anything that you have in. You have corrections or you have something you need to solve in Amy's court tomorrow. You can send that to us. Do it all at uh, dailybeanspod.com and click on contact. And yeah, I can't. I look forward to these every day. So I appreciate your submissions. Seriously. Any uh, final thoughts before we head out? Nope. I will miss you all this weekend. So have a fabulous weekend. And I will be back in your ears on Monday. Awesome. Everybody until tomorrow, please take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Take care of the planet and take care of your mental health. I've been AG. And I've been DG. And them's the beans. <laughs>